friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a people expansion device known as bhex we will see how to apply this device and how to remove in this case this is an intumescent cataract with small people the device must be taken completely into the anterior chamber here the leading end was not in the anterior chamber it was stuck in the it was stuck in the main wound so it has been pushed into the anterior chamber and now the leading flange centered at 5:30 o'clock has been tucked now i go through the right side port and tuck the flange centered at 1:30 o'clock and now i go through the left side port and tuck the flange centered at 9:30 o'clock alternate flanges are tucked and now the people will not come down capsulorexis has been done in two stages first a small rexis some cortical matter was aspirated and then this adequate sized rexis is done and now in this case we are going to see direct chop in real time as well as in slow motion first in real time the machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3 the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it travels through the nucleus for some distance and then it is chopped I call this technique submarine chop it's just a direct horizontal chop The FECO power used in this case is 70%, flow rate is 45 and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Sometimes you can just chop and as soon as the nuclear piece becomes free you can emulsify and then rotate the nucleus and chop again and in very hard cataracts you can first chop all the fragments and then start emulsifying this cataract is not very hard it is grade 3 or grade 3 plus so you can do either way chop and emulsify or chop all fragments and then emulsify so this is in a real time and now we are going to see in slow motion. Tip is introduced with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical matter is aspirated, and this improves visibility a lot. Then the handpiece is turned. Bevel is up. This is 50% speed. And now the chopper is introduced. Nucleus is pushed little down. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It goes through the nucleus. So you are going through a track which is about 3 mm deep. And now after crossing the center, midway between center and the opposite equator, you chop. This air bubble is causing some disturbance. So just use vacuum and remove it. Now rotate, hold the lens mass very nicely, again going into the substance of the nucleus and chop it. And now see the chopper, how it is being placed. Don't just be in epicleus or superficial part of the nucleus. Go really deep into the nucleus and then apply opposite forces to separate the pieces. And now this free nuclear fragments can be emulsified right now because the cataract is not very hard and you are in control. And now see again the chopper goes really deep into the nuclear mass don't be in a hurry and don't just scratch the nuclear mass 
bu in the nucleus at least it should be 60% depth and then apply opposite forces in this way you divide the nucleus into several fragments and emulsify each fragment you can you can make a fra fragment free and emulsify at that time itself so this is the last nuclear fragment at this time we can reduce the vacuum we can be slow we can reduce the flow rate and very carefully we can do this removing the chopper so that the antechamber becomes more stable the posterior capsule goes far behind and now see the other piece immediately comes to the tip and now the small nuclear bit hold it and don't emulsify here go at the center and then emulsify and this is the technique and now clean the cortex in whatever way you are comfortable you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration or a semico cannula for cortical cleanup and then inject visco when there is a people expansion device should inject visco and then inject the lens in the capsular bag and the lens should be injected in such a way that the trailing haptic should go into the bag at on go it should not press over the device like this it should go and the left hand instrument should guide it to place it in the capsular bag at on shot otherwise if it is over the iris you will as you dial the people expansion device may get dislodged you can find it out but to avoid that dislodgement of the people expansion device this is the technique now how to remove this hold pull it and untuck all the flanges and just pull it out very simple and now all the visco is removed very nicely thorough cleaning of visco is done and then after hydrating the corneal stroma on either side of the side port the antechamber is formed very nicely and then the case is concluded thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence